Video 5 is a good video because now I want to get diamond pickaxe. If I make diamond pickaxe, many options will open up before my eyes, like getting the obsidian. So what I did was go to the surface lava pool and pour some water on it, turning the lava into obsidian. Then I use the water to make sure the lava doesn't burn the obsidian when I'm gathering the obsidian, because burning the obsidian is not nice. Now with the obsidian I was able to put a nether portal inside my house. It is quite the peculiar location for a nether portal. It's literally like inside the walls of my house. I didn't want to bother making a special room for it, so I just put it somewhere in my house. Then I made the enchantment table because I want to enchant my diamond pickaxe, but I made the discovery that I forgot. You need lapis lazuli to enchant, and I have no lapis lazuli, so I could not enchant my diamond pickaxe. I built a staircase into the huge cave next to my house. So I no longer have to go into the cave by using the waterfall. So what I did was I go up the waterfall and I destroy it. The waterfall is all like, no, don't remove me. I will be sad. Bleh, it died. Then I no longer need waterfall because I have stairs. Why use water when you have stairs? I did manage to find some lapis lazuli in my cave without much trouble, so I put the diamond pickaxe into my enchantment table along with lapis lazuli, and I got diamond pickaxe with efficiency number one and breaking, and breaking number one too. Yeah. This will make my pickaxe last twice as long, so it's very nice to enchant and breaking just to make it last longer. Now before I do super serious mining mission, I have to make sure everything is lit up quite nicely. Because if it's not lit up quite nicely, I might get ambushed by the monster. Like here we have Skeleton, he shoot me with a bow. Thankfully I have a shield, so he cannot shoot through the shield, I block it blank. And then I put more torches, cause there is so much darkness, darkness in the cave. I like to put the bat in the cave, so if I see darkness from the ceiling, I just put down the bat and go to sleep, because darkness from ceiling is not nice, it can mean more monsters will spawn in the cave, because you no longer get the sunlight from the surface. So I put bats in the cave to sleep if it gets dark outside, because I don't want to get monster attacked. Even if you put one million billion torches, you cannot escape the one scariest enemy that no longer fears the light, the slime. The slime does not disappear even if you put six billion torches. So even if you think you are safe, you can never be too sure, because sometimes you might end up in a slimy situation. I like to make staircase into the cave, so I was digging down to make longer staircase path. But guess what happened? I go into cave. What? Cave. I'm like la ri la la tickly tickly dook. Uh oh, I can no longer go down, there is a big cave. That made me sad, cause I was making a staircase longer. How can I make staircase longer if there's a big cave? Watch out everyone, it is the big hole near my cave start. What? Where is cave start? In the hole. No! No! I like to fill up the hole if I am afraid I might fall into it one day. Here I fill up the hole using many different assortment of materials like a wooden plank and cobblestone. The pillars in my cave make me sad because they block the vision when I want to see many things. 
So what I started to do is remove the bottom part of the pillars to make sure they do not block my vision. Because blocking the vision means blocking my feelings, and that is not a good combination. I don't want to lose the sight of my feelings. Also, I have to be careful, because even if I light up the whole area, there still might be someone visiting me. As you see in the footage, I hear some sound. It was the creeper falling down. Thankfully, I heard him, because if I did not hear him, I could have been bada-bing, bada-boom, bam-boom, boom, 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 boom tighter, and then...